Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you some thrift flips. I have been gifted three vases and uh, I like the size of them, the shape of them, but I'm not a fan of the color and some of the features on them. So I will flip them and share the process with you. Stay tuned for this. These are my vases. I have a pair of these. I do not like those uh, children there. Uh, I think they're kind of creepy. The upper part and the lower part is fine. And then I have this one. I don't mind the features of it. The color is a no-no though. So let's do something about them. I start off by cleaning them properly to prepare them for painting. I am spray painting all of them in the same matte black spray paint and I needed two coats on all of them for a good coverage. After the spray paint is dry I will bring them in slightly different directions and do some new directions for me as well because there are some things I have not tried before so you will be there to try it with me. Flip number one is this vase here that I don't mind the features of and I will take this gold paint, this little creamy inconsistence and I will try just to dab on the top part of the texture to get the features to pop. You see what I'm doing here. I don't know if you can compare this uh, kind of paint color with this rub and buff but uh, this uh, particular paint I got it from my neighbor and he has used it to put a golden shimmer to picture frames. This video is also part of a challenge, Flipping Friday, hosted by Jamie over at Border Bananas. She has also a second channel, Border Bananas DIY, and if you're not familiar with Jamie just yet, jump on over right after this video and check out what she has to offer. I will leave links to her channels down in my description box, along with a link to the playlist of this challenge, so you can get loads of inspiration. Now I'm on the top of my vase and I continue just rubbing it on and then on the lines where you see me paint at this point I'm putting on quite a lot. Beautiful and I will put the same on the rim like you see me do here and that's it for this vase this makeover and I have put it here in my entryway with a witch hazel twig in it looking fabulous I think I like the combination of the black and the gold what do you think? Flip number two, I have these twin vases that I don't like the features of, the ones in the middle of the creepy looking children. 
I have picked up some Vlieslin and I will cut strips like the one you see me with here and uh, I will cut several of them to cover the whole piece. So I just cut them out and what I will do is to cover these strips of Vlieslin with some cute fabric and uh, I will make a weave of fabric around the vase. At least I will try to see how it goes. So I cut out several of these. I have cut out several like you see here and those I will put vertically onto my vase like that and then I have uh, those who goes horizontal that I will weave with I also have slightly larger ones that goes across where the vase is a bit bulkier so let's put some fabric on these I have chosen this fabric for the vertical ones so I just put it onto the fabric and I hot glue it on the back of the Vlieselin like you see me do here cut off any excess and then I will fold the other side over that Vlieselin as well If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and let's be friends. I have been busy, so these are the vertical ones quite many and the horizontals are these one in this fabulous green color I love green you know that and then I will sort of weave them like so onto the vase first thing is to attach the vertical ones just a tab on the top and just fold it into the vase like that and continue all the way around put them pretty close but it doesn't matter if it, anything of the black will show in between the strips uh, that's why I painted them black this project is really the first for me. I have not tried it before. I haven't seen it before. So I'm, I'm just letting my imagination bring me further down the road and see what happens. The other vase will not be identical with this one, but it will be in the same color scheme. So a distant cousin maybe. Time to put on the green horizontal strips and I will hot glue them where it's not seen like under one of the strips the vertical ones so it won't show but still keep it in place and I continue doing that all the way around like so And when I come to the end, I cut off the excess and hot glue it into place. And here I see I need another vertical strip. So I put that in place as well. And then I continue with the second row 
same fashion at the moment it looks like a cuddly squid or something I'm having some fun here I'm almost at the bottom now just two more rows to go Once done, I turn it upside down. I will stretch the vertical ones and uh, hot glue them onto the bottom of my vase, like you see me do here. Once all of them have been glued down, it's time to cut off the excess. But in order not to have a wobbly vase, I will address the bottom with this piece of cork that I just trace with the other vase and just cut it slightly inside my markings so it's slightly smaller and see if it fits and then just put some hot glue on it and press it into place and it looks like that looking good I think the final touch on this one is this piece of lace ribbon that I will put on the top like you see me do here i will put mm, some tiny dots of hot glue where i see fit to keep it in place just cut it off tuck it in with a dot of hot glue and i will put a row of this lace on the bottom row as well Now on to my other vase, the twin one, and I decided to just cover the middle part and leave the upper parts as they are. And I take this fabric, the ones I used in the other vase, and I fold it so it looks pretty, like that. And then I will just hot glue it into place. I start with the upper part of the vase, hot gluing as I go, a little at the time to get it as even as possible, even though um, I created a few tiny wrinkles, but I don't mind. I have a bit of an excess, but I will not cut it off just yet. Before I do that, I will attach the lower part so I know exactly where to cut it off. So a little bit of an overlap and I want to be able to fold it so it looks nice as well. So I'm folding it and hot gluing it into place like that. And then I will put the lace ribbon, same as I used for the other vase, on the top part of the fabric, hot gluing it into place, and the same on the lower part of the fabric as well. Something is still missing and it's the green color. 
I do have some pieces of these strips with the Vaseline in them left and I'm thinking about folding it like that and put it on the top of the vase so I just need to hot glue it together like that and once done I will attach it with hot glue all the way around like you see me do here cut off a bit too much so I can fold it and voila and I will do the same thing on the bottom part of my vase and then it's ready if you like this video and videos just like this hit that like button and the subscribe button as well for more inspirational videos and here they are my identical twin vases now more like distant cousins some beautiful flower pigs in one of them sitting on a riser to get some more visual interest not to have them in the same height and a little Japanese lantern as the final touch tell me what you think did you have a favorite today let me know in the comments if you want more thrift flip inspiration straight away head on over to my description box and click on the playlist link to this challenge If you want to see more of my videos straight away, just hit that DIY playlist icon appearing on the screen right here. Just click and enjoy. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.